according to this in the song, beginning at the first verse and then down to verse 6. The earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. I'm going to stop right there. This time, I'm going to say this. Testimony service is over. To give your testimony of what the Lord has done, and sing a song of glory and adoration unto him. At this time, testimony service is over. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I stand to give honor to God who is the head of my life, to my pastor, to all the ministers, and the mothers, and everybody in the house of the faith. I thank you, praise God, for being here. I thank you, praise God, for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, I thank you for how he watched over me, and I thank you for how he has solved me. Praise God. Praise God. So, you know, I've been having an issue with my job mm -hmm. and my hours and everything. I got an offer letter yesterday for another position that is going to allow me to be back in church on Sunday. Hallelujah! All right. Also, I mean, I'm usually able to come on Wednesday, but I might have to leave early. That's all right. I'm on Friday, but I'm just thanking, praise God. Yes, Lord. I'm going to be praising because he worked that out. Work yes, he You know, and, and
my testimony. You know, so I know that a few weeks ago, I went on vacation and I took my two small grandchildren with me. And we went on a train. And I'm diabetic and I took my medication with me on the train. One of my medications is an injection. I take one injection a week. So I was trying to figure out on this train how to take this injection without, well, be discreet. And take this injection without going into their nasty bathrooms. I didn't want to take that medication in their bathroom. So anyway, I did it wrong and ended up uh, losing all the medication back into the syringe. So I said, we're going to pray. And I'm going to ask the Lord to keep my blood sugars down and keep them level until okay. the next week. And if not, I have one more injection, but that's going to have to last me the whole time in the car. So, a lot of different things went wrong on this vacation. But I think the Lord was trying to show Jerison, but he might have been showing me too, how he can fix it. Because every time something went wrong, he came in and fixed it. Every time. We didn't get our luggage checked on time. You're not allowed to carry that much luggage on the train. You're only allowed to carry on. I said, well, my special man said, oh, let's just put it on the train. Mm -hmm. Just like that, yeah. just easy. Yeah. Just easy. Yeah. Everything was thrown on. Harrison had a big rash on his on his stomach. And when we got ready to put the medicine on it, we prayed and got ready to put medicine on it and lifted up his shirt. It was gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Harrison and I kept looking at each other going, here's another blessing. Here's another blessing. When you see him asking what he got the most of while he was on vacation, he's going to tell you. Blessings. But I have to say that in that week that I did not, I was not going to take any medications, my blood sugar never went out of range. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for that. He, he is working, he's been working in our lives. Every time after that, when something went wrong, we would look at each other and say, what is the Lord going to do now? Yeah. How's he going to fix it this time? When we got back, it was a little after four in the morning, got the car loaded up with all the luggage and was sitting in the car with our spot. Oh, no. It's been sitting in the train station for 12 days. We got the day. We couldn't get back on time. But the Lord fixed that. Put us in a hotel. We spent the Saturday that we were stuck there going to the Capitol building. We went to the zoo. We went to the White House. Thank you, Lord. We were stuck. Yeah. We made the best of it. When we got back, the car would have started. I loaded it up. I said, well, Lord, what must I do? Try this again. Boom. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God is so good. He is so good in here yes. and showing himself to us. And Harrison, I think it is just wonderful how the Lord allowed him to see that it wasn't anybody else who fixed it. Yeah. God fixed it. God fixed it. Yeah. And he will tell you. He, he told his father, who was not even a believer, he said, we have so many blessings. He said, we must have had 10,000 blessings. <laughs> because the Lord kept showing himself to us. And I appreciate him. I love him for that. He is a God that there is nothing to compare. There is no comparison. He is an all-wise, all-wise God. And he is able to fix it. Yes. If you got a problem, let me tell you who can fix it for you. I've seen him fix it. I've heard people say they haven't seen miracles, but I've seen them. Oh, I've seen, seen them right here in this service, oh, yeah. in this in this house. Yes. As a matter of fact, I've experienced it for myself, and I watched my grandson. When he saw that rash bone on his stomach, he said, well, you prayed, and God fixed it. <laughs> and that's, how, that's why God tells us to have childlike faith, because if he said it, they will be mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. They're not encumbered by all the circumstances and things we are. Because we've seen bad circumstances and we've seen bad outcomes. But they know what God said. And for them, that's it. And that's how we need to be. That's how I want to be. And on this vacation, when something went wrong, it wasn't an oh no situation for us anymore. It was like, what's he going to do this time? Yeah. And then, and it was. It was wonderful because I could look at him and he would look at me and we would both smile and say, another blessing. <laughs> and that's what God will do for all of us. Yes. 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 Do we have any more testimonies this evening? Yes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody.
Peter, Minister Tim, yeah. all the ministers thank you for training with our children. Say, I got a hold on the Jesus, yeah. and I won't let go. I won't. Because I enjoy your testimony. Yeah. Now, prayer work. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. You know, when you pray the prayer of faith, you got to believe that God's going to do it. Hallelujah. Nothing too hard God cannot do. I praise God. Hallelujah. Was uh, pray for my husband that the Lord would touch his body. Hallelujah. God is a healer. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Because he healed me with, with my great headache. He kept me. Hallelujah. I'm still living. I was born with a hope in my heart. I'm still alive. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm still walking for the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. He touched my body with rheumatoid arthritis. Yes. Hallelujah. That's that crippled disease. Yes. But God is a good God. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo, I thank God for everything that he's doing, everything that he's about to do. And Mother Jackie was talking about saving soul. I'm looking for a mother. Oh, I am looking for yes. Hallelujah. God will bring souls in. Yes. Hallelujah. He's going to save them and he's going to fill them all the way up with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. And now we get ready to take this part. We're going to our deacon, whoever's here. Huh? Oh, okay. We, now we're going to take up our offering. Everybody, please stand. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Okay. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, how you bless every soul that is here, Lord. I thank you for your goodness and mercy, Lord. Bless those, Lord, who are able to give and those who are not able to give. Bless them, Lord, the next time to give, Lord. God, this is your church, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, yes. The money you have blessed us with is your money, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for everything you're doing, everything you're about to do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Peace it on time. Uh, yes, he is.
will be in your places to carry out the services of the Lord. I also want to reiterate that we're still collecting fees for the Men and Women's Conference. Uh, there's a few people that need to uh, finish up on the Women's Day offering. Uh, we need five women to uh, pay the Women's Day donation, and we need two men to pay uh, the Men's Day donation of $100. So we're asking that uh, you would pay your fees so that we would have a full report. Also, on Friday and Saturday, during the conference, there will be dinners. <coughs> and the dinners for adults is $30.75, and for children 12 and under, uh, the price is $13.31. And we uh, still don't have the, uh, the menu yet, but uh, I'm sure they'll give it to us in between now and before the time for us to go. And then also on that Saturday while we're there, the, the bus will probably go off-site and have dinner somewhere. So, uh, so we're asking if you would please pay your fees. Mm -hmm. uh, there's still plenty of seats on the bus. So at this point, if you want to go on the bus, you would have to pay the full amount, which is $70. But there's plenty of seats available on the bus. Uh, also, asking that you please don't forget about the HYP Youth Fundraiser. Uh, I think the only shoes that was in the container on Sunday was the shoes that uh, Sister Sandy Corners, the president of HYPU, brought in. So we're asking that you please bring in your unwanted athletic shoes. Uh, the plastic bags are available, so we're asking that you put the shoes in the bag and tie the bag up and then place it in the container that's out in the hallway over here by where the walkers are. I also want to announce that uh, Apostle Sylvia uh, Tony, she used to be part of our uh, organization, but she left a few years ago, and she passed away. Uh, and the funeral services for her will take place on Saturday and Sunday in Indianapolis, Indiana. But if you're interested in going, I can, if you uh, text me if you want the information, I'll send you the whole flight. And also want to announce that Mr. Franklin, the husband and mother Franklin, passed away uh, on Sunday. And uh, there have not been any arrangements uh, made as yet, but when we find out about the arrangements, we will let uh, people know. So we we'll ask that you would pray for uh, Mr. Franklin's uh, sister, uh, Rosette. She's the last one living and also you know, him and Mother Franklin was married for 50 something years, so mm -hmm. we ask for prayer for their family as well. So uh, that concludes our announcements. All of our announcements are very important to us. If you have any questions or you need uh, clarity, just ask that you would contact me at your earliest convenience. God bless you. Thank the Lord, Sister Doris, uh, for the announcement. She's doing a beautiful job. And I'm praying to God for her. And I've been doing her for quite a while. And quite I think while. she's a very good person. And I thank God for her. And now we get ready to have the best come to the best part of the service is the word of God. Yes, Everybody, Lord. please stay. So without that word, we cannot make it. But the word, it checked us out. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know where we at and where we not at. Hallelujah. God is a good God. We're going to bring our minister to four, Minister Tim. Yeah. Bless mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, he's, a, he's a good preacher. God bless him. Everybody turn their right hand to this preacher. Yeah. Hey, preach the word. Preach the word. Tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. No sugarcoat. No, no sugarcoat.
And I ain't just saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, and so I thank the Lord for being here. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I am uh, so blessed to see my pastor uh, here tonight. I feel better when she's around. <laughs> it makes me feel better. Oh, yes, we need our pastor. That's right, that's right. I, I, I give honor to her and I give honor to uh, Minister Strauss and to my wife and to our shock in his absence and to all of the, the ministers. I, I give honor to all of you tonight to come to want to hear the word of God. And uh, I believe I have a word Bless from the Lord. Bless Jesus. All right, now, so I'm going to give you the scripture. It's 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verse 15 through 58. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verse 15 through 58. I will read in your hearing. Now this I say, Brother Corinthians, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither do it corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Yes. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Hallelujah to God, and we shall be changed. Uh, but the uh, but this corruptible must have a uh, must put on in the corruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on in corruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass. The saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh great, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, yes. which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, yes. unmovable, yes. always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. I want to use for a tonight. We shall be changed. Yes. You know, gracious Father, we thank yes, you for yes. this. Another time that we are standing here, we are looking for you, oh God. We want to hear a word from you. Yes, yes. Oh God, we ask that you will allow us to decrease yes. while you increase. Oh God, we come to you as an empty pitcher, desiring to be filled. Fill us all. Fill us all. Talk to us all. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seen. We live in a world of change. Yes. Things are changing so fast around us every day. The earth is wrapped by disaster. Now we are being uh, forced to change our daily activities and our normal way of life. But one thing about uh, the one change we can be sure of, and that is that we 
will be changed and uh, change this mortal body and put on immortality. The Bible says in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, yes, a change is coming and we don't know when. It may not happen in my lifetime. It may not happen uh, in our lifetime. It may go by the grave. But one thing we have to do, we have to still preach the word of Jesus. We have to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We don't know when the change will take place. But we have to be ready at all times. You know, we're living in this world and we are experiencing all kinds of change. All kinds of things going on in our world today. And we are with the way if you look at uh, the news you see that everything is set for the Lord to come back hallelujah to come so it, you know you never know when he is coming so the Bible says be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man coming. Hallelujah to God. We have to be ready tonight, saints. And we have to stay ever ready. I believe I'm ever ready tonight. I'm not just up here. I'm, I'm talking about being ready. But I am trying, I'm striving with everything I have. Genesis, God made Adam and Eve, uh -huh. and uh, he made them and created them, and uh, he breathed the breath of life into their nostrils, and they became a living soul, and they were to live forever. Oh, but when man disobeyed God, he suffered the consequences of sin. Yes. My God, the penalty yes. of sin was that man, man, uh, uh, man lost his fellowship with God yes. and his place in the garden of Eden. Yes. Man would suffer the consequences and decay of this physical body through death. My God, there's nothing that we can do to get around it. Uh, that was the penalty of sin and disobeying God. The Bible said for the wages of sin is, is death yeah. but the gift of God yes. is eternal life. Uh, now because of Adam's and Eve's uh, disobedience mm -hmm. and because of their sin, we now suffer mm -hmm. in our bodies the consequences of corruption yes. and decay mm -hmm. and death of this physical body. Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. Bless the Lord. It was because of Adam and he, Lord have mercy, they, uh, uh, it's the cause that we don't live forever. They disobeyed God. Yes, yes, yes. And when they done that, they fixed things so that we cannot make it in without the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to God. And so, Jesus died on Calvary yes. and he shed his blood yes. 
so that we can have the right to the tree of life. So that we can be ready uh, for the change. Romans 8, chapter 8, and verse 11 said, But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from mm -hmm. the dead dwell mm -hmm. in you, yes. he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies mm -hmm. by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Uh -huh. yes. Although our mortal bodies are subject to death, uh -huh. we have no fear because that same spirit, the Holy Ghost spirit, will give life to our mortal bodies. Yes. Hallelujah to God. We have to be ready, saints, when Jesus comes or uh, when he calls. Because we don't know the day or the hour when he shall appear. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter number 4, verses 16 through 18 says, For which cause we thank not. But through our outward, outward man perish. Though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light of visions, which is but for a moment, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal way of glory. Can you clap your hands tonight? Oh, and you the Lord. Uh, you see, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Yes. Uh, and Jesus. Oh, my God. My Lord. But the things, my God, that is invisible are the things that we need to think about. Because the day of the heaven, your affections, is only temporary. But glory is eternal. Hallelujah. We grow in our bodies. We suffer. Sorrow and grief. We long for the coming redemption to be with the Lord. As now in us, all the pain and suffering we go through down here is it, to be worth it all. It will be worth it all. It will be worth because he will come and rescue us. He will come. Hallelujah. And rapture up his saints. All we got to do is hold on. Hallelujah to God. Passing all your cares upon him. For he cares for you. Jesus knows.
with them that love him. My God, one of these days, my saints, my brothers and sisters, one day we shall be changed. Uh, we are going to pull off this earthly body. Hallelujah to God. Man. And we're going to put on eternal life in a twinkling of an eye. Hallelujah to God. Clap your hands. And we thank you, Jesus. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Let us say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 